Ah, hello and good morning to you. This is Dr. Bill Bledsoe bringing you another morning session of your prayers. Sit aloud in the privacy of your own homes, your concerns. This is by far the best way to begin any day for the rest of your life. Prayer, being close to God, walking hand in hand with God, learning wisdom, di discernment, and feeling God's love at all times. There's just nothing better. So we'll begin with me saying my morning prayer, just thanking God for this. I thank you, God, for this wonderful method of prayer of each of us, praying aloud our heartfelt concerns in the privacy of our homes, each of us stretching, healing our bodies while our prayers heal our minds, our spirits, and our souls. I thank the generations that have brought this to us from the house of Abraham, the house of David, from Jesus, his mother Mary, Father Joseph, Mary Magdalene, and Virginia Ellen, who wrote the book, Sacred Heart Yoga. Amen. Um, now, the first two prayers, uh, if you will, just repeat after me, say them aloud. Uh, and then uh, from then on, it'll, you'll finish all the prayers with your heartfelt concerns. Just you'll repeat the little short beginning with that I say, and then finish it with your heartfelt concerns. So... We begin with our morning prayer. Beloved God, I devote this practice this day to the evolution of my soul. to the fulfillment of my destiny. In service to you, O oh God, and I allow myself to be purified of fear as I rejoice in your kingdom of heaven and your love, O oh God. And I give thanks for these blessings these moments that I share with my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul, in oneness with you, O oh God. And so it is, amen. Um. Now we're going to do a motion with our arm, and this one you repeat after me also. 
Uh, but the motion is we take our right arm up to the 12 o'clock position above our heads, let it like the arms of a clock over to the three o'clock position, right knee, left knee, nine o'clock position, and then back up to the 12 o'clock position above our heads. As we do this motion, repeat after me this prayer of clearing our energy fields, clearing our minds of fears, of distractions, of things that will keep us from being able to love. Fear blocks our ability to love. So here, repeat after me. Beloved God, I clear my energy field of anyone or anything standing within. I bless them and I send them into your love, your light, O oh God. Oh. Now, the rest of the prayers, I'll just begin them, and you must finish them with your own heartfelt concerns. We begin by asking God, how may we serve you? And, and you know, it doesn't ever come to me in anything more than just one or two words or a heartfelt feeling, a concern, something that really ends up being that I need to do this day. Um, sometimes I don't get anything at all, and yet I still incorporate that as I'm supposed to listen. And through the rest of my prayers, I, I listen and I incorporate the nothingness. And still, I always get some sort of truth from God. Every session, I've always gotten something out of it where I've, I've learned something new. I've gotten some new truth. So we'll begin by putting our right hands over our hearts and here our prayers begin with. God, how may I serve you this day? Om. Now we're going to stand up and announce out loud what came to us. We do this by standing straight and tall. Our palms are forward, arms resting relaxed at our sides, our palms are forward. And here our prayers begin with, God, my intention to serve you this day is to
Om. Now we're going to seal our oath to God in Aramaic, Jesus' tongue, an oath was sealed by saying the word aloud three times, Amen. So here we're going to sing it aloud, whatever tone, whatever feels right for you, whatever tune you want to use, as loud as you want. Amen. 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 Now we're going to sit back down on the mats. And lay down on our backs. And here we're going to get into resting position, which is our legs outstretched, our arms and our sides. And we begin by pulling our right knee up to our chest and holding it there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Oh, now we hold our right foot in our left hand, pull it over to our left thigh, let our right knee fall down to the mat, and our right arm gets stretched out straight above us down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with God, my true Father, I love you. And I thank you for. Um, now we hold our right foot in our right hand down near our pelvis. And our left arm this time goes straight above our heads, stretched out down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true father, I love you and I thank you for Om. Now we take our right foot up towards the heavens. And here our prayers begin with.
God, my true father, I love you and I thank you for Um, now we let our right leg fall out to the right sides of our bodies, opening our pelvis as wide as we can, our leg out stretched. Our arms get stretched out straight to the sides from our shoulders, down to the mat, palms up. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true father, I love you and I thank you for Um, now we turn our heads to the right and our right leg goes up over across our bodies over to the left side down to the mat keeping our shoulders flat on the mat And here our prayers begin with, God, my Father, I love you and I thank you for Um, now we pull our, go back to resting position and pull our left knee up to our chest, holding it there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Um, now we hold our left foot in our left hand, pull it down near our pelvis, holding it near our pelvis. Our right arm gets stretched out straight above our heads down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my mother, I love you and I thank you for
Now we point our left foot up towards the heavens. And here our prayers begin with. God, my mother, I love you and I thank you for Oh, now we let our left leg fall out to the left side of our bodies, down to the mat, our leg extended out, opening our pelvis as wide as we can. And here, our arms stretch straight out to the sides from our bodies, down to the mat, palms up, and our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Oh, now I turn my, well, we turn our heads to the left, keeping our shoulders down flat on the mat. We take our left leg up over across our bodies over to the right side down to the mat, and here our prayers begin with, God, my mother, I love you, and I thank you for Um, now we go back to resting position, legs outstretched, arms at our sides, and here our prayers begin with, no, not yet, I'm sorry. We pull our knees up to our chest, holding them there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you and I thank you for Oh. Now we hold our right foot in our right hand, left foot in our left hand, holding our feet down near our pelvis. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you and I thank you for...
Um. Now we pull our feet apart down near our pelvis. And here our prayers begin with. God, I love you and I thank you for Um, now we point both feet up towards the heavens, holding them there with our hands and our prayers begin with, God, I love you and I thank you for Um, now we let our feet fall down to the mat right near the, our pelvis. Our knees are pointed up heavenward. Our arms fall straight out to the sides from our chest down to the mat. Our palms are down this time and we turn our heads to the left and holding our shoulders down flat on the mat we move our knees over to the right side down to the mat and here our prayers begin with God I love you and I thank you for Um, now we turn our heads to the right and here our prayers begin with God I love you and I thank you for Um, now we turn our heads to the right and our knees go over to the left side of our bodies down to the mat 
keeping our shoulders flat on the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we go back to resting position, legs outstretched, arms at our sides. And this time we're going to do what's called a surrender pose. Here we surrender our fears to God, turn them over to God. Always remembering that fear prevents our ability to love. We cannot be terrified of someone and still be loving them. It just doesn't work. So we surrender our fears to God at this, this position. We put our hands under our sit bones, lean forward on our elbows, trying to touch the tops of our heads back down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, I surrender to you. Um. Now we go back to resting position and we reach for the heavens with our left hand. Let it fall over to the right side of our body, stretching our left shoulder and back, rib cage. We take our right hand halfway between our left shoulder and left elbow, stretching our left arm over farther. And here our prayers begin with, God, in your name, I choose to. Um. Now we take our right hand and reach for the heavens and let it fall over to the left side of our bodies, stretching our right shoulder, our right backs, our rib cage and back. And we take our left hand halfway between our right elbow and right shoulder, stretching it over a little farther. And here our prayers begin with, God, in your name, I can.
Now we go back to resting position, legs outstretched, arms at our sides. And here we pull our feet up to our pelvis, down flat on the mat. And we let our knees fall out to the sides, forming a tabernacle below our bodies. We form a second tabernacle over our hearts by putting our hands in prayer position over our hearts and extending them up two thirds of the way up to the heavens. This tabernacle is a house of God above our hearts. And in this house of God, we find God's beautiful chalice filled with any gift we could ever desire, want, or need, as long as we only use them in service to God. And so here our prayers begin with, God, I drink from your chalice, your gifts of Um. Now, keeping our hands in prayer position, we move them right down to the mat, right at the tops of our heads. Let our elbows fall out to the sides. And we form a tabernacle, a house of God over our entire bodies. So here our prayers begin with, God, I thank you for healing my mind, my body, my spirit, and my soul. Um. Now we're going to start the anointing series. It's called a series because it's four prayers, keeping our hands in prayer position the whole while. And then we repeat these four prayers three different times. So it's a series of four prayers three times. And the whole while, all three series, we keep our hands in prayer position at all times. So we take our hands in prayer position up to our thumbs to our foreheads, and here our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your gifts of Um, now we take our thumbs down to our lips and our prayers begin with, 
God, I bless, and I will use them only in your service, your gifts to me of Um. Now we take our hands down in prayer position over our hearts and our prayers begin with. God, I thank you for your gifts of Um, now the fourth position is actually a movement in each of the three sets and we we move our hands in prayer position we point them down towards our abdomens extend them out over our pelvis at the three o'clock position like the arms of a clock and then we go counterclockwise up to the 12 o'clock position and then the nine o'clock position over our heads down to the mat. And as we do this motion, our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul with your gifts of Um. Now we take our thumbs down to our no our thumbs down to our lips. And here our prayers begin with, God, I bless, and I will only use them in your service, your gifts of Now we take our hands in prayer position over our hearts and here our prayers begin with. 
God, I thank you for your gifts of Um, now we do the motion, pointing our fingers into our abdomens, extending them out to the three o'clock, 12 o'clock, nine o'clock positions. And as we do this motion, our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul with your gifts to me of Um, now we take our thumbs back to our foreheads for the third and final set in the anointing series. And our prayers begin with. God, I anoint your gifts of. Um. Now we take our thumbs down to our lips and here our prayers begin with God, I bless, and I will only use them in your service, your gifts to me of Um, now we take our hands down over our hearts in prayer position and our prayers begin with, God, I thank you for your gifts of Um, now we do the motion, pointing our fingers down into our abdomens, extending them out to the three o'clock, 12 o'clock, nine o'clock positions. As we do this, our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, 
my mind, my spirit, and my soul with your gifts of Um. Now we go back to resting position and we cross our right ankle over our left ankle, our right wrist over our left wrist over our hearts. And our prayers begin with God, I thank you for always protecting me, for keeping me safe. Um. Now we roll over on our sides and push ourselves back up into sitting position using our arms and our hands. <clears throat> We extend our right leg straight out in front of us, knee down to the mat. Our left leg goes across our right knee, and we hold our left knee with our right arm, and our left arm goes behind our backs for support as we twist our heads, our shoulders, and our backs to the left. And here our prayers begin with, desire I am, desire I am, desire I am. God, only in your name, I desire to. Um, now we have to extend our left leg. Well, we have to. Now we extend our left leg straight out in front of us. Our right foot goes across our left knee. We hold our right knee with our left arm. This time our right arm goes behind our backs for support. And we twist our heads, our shoulders, and our backs to the right this time. And here our prayers begin with, Will I am, will I am, will I am. God, only in your name, I will.
Um, <clears throat> now we get up on our knees. <laughs> There's no have to about any of this. I love it. And we put our hands over our hearts in prayer position, kneeling straight and tall. And here our prayers begin with, God, I thank you for Oh. Now we form a tabernacle with our hands. Tips of our fingers together, first finger and the tips of our thumbs together. And we put this tabernacle down on the mat in front of us. And we lean over in child's pose, putting our foreheads in this tabernacle. And here we just take a moment to feel God's presence around us and God's presence filling every cell in our bodies. Oh, now we go back to sitting position. And we extend our right leg out to the right side of our bodies. Mine kind of goes out to a 45 degree angle. Take our left foot up to the inside of our right thigh. And here our prayers begin with. God, in your name, I will become. Oh. Now we take our left leg out to the left side. Our right foot comes up to the inside of our left, left leg. And here our prayers begin with, 
God, in your name, I am. Om. Now we go back to sitting position. Sitting up straight and tall, we put our hands on our knees, our thumbs touching our middle two fingers. With our backs straight, we bow forward at our pelvis. And as we bow forward, our prayers begin with, I bow to you, God, for healing my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul. Om. Now we sit straight and tall a second time, bowing over at our pelvis. And here our prayers begin with, I bow to you, God, my father, my mother, the one, the oneness. Om. Now we sit back up straight and tall. And this time we feel where we're grounded down to the mat with our pelvis, our left side and right side of our pelvis. On the left side of our pelvis where we're grounded, we feel God's wonderful white light of love coming into our bodies, fills our legs all the way to the tips of our toes, that's why light comes up and fills our abdomens, every cell and every organ. The why light comes up into our hearts and lungs and our hearts can act like a beacon of this white light of God's love to the world. The white light comes up through our arms, to the tips of our fingers, through our throats, up into our minds and out the tops of our heads. 
And we feel this white light fill the skies above us as far as we can imagine. And it keeps on expanding out around the whole earth and rains down God's love on every living creature. Now we feel on the right side of our bellies, our right side of our pelvis, God's blue light of truth. It fills our legs to the fullest, to the tips of our toes. The blue light of truth fills our abdomens, every cell and every organ. The blue light of truth comes up and fills our hearts and our lungs with every breath and every heartbeat. It fills our arms to the tips of our fingers and comes up through our throats into our minds. And it goes out the tops of our heads and expands out in the skies for as far as we can imagine in all directions. And it wraps around the whole earth and God's truth rains down on every living creature. Now we can step up into the light above our heads and stay as long as we want. We can ask anything we want. But the one question we should always ask before leaving is, God, what do I need to know this day? <laughs>